Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect cPanel to FileZilla in 2024. So today we're exploring a fundamental connection in the world of web hosting. How to connect cPanel to FileZilla in 2024. So if you're ready to efficiently manage your website files using a powerful combination of cPanel and FileZilla, stick around and I will guide you through the step-by-step -step process of establishing the essential link. So make sure to stick by. Let's get into this video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and open whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. And of course, let's start by gathering any necessary information of course, you will need uh, your cPanel login credentials, your website domain, or the IP address, and of course, your FTP username and password. And this information is crucial for establish a secure connection. For me, for the cPanel, I'll use a website called Infinity Free for for to to access, of course, the free cPanel for me because I don't have an account on cPanel. So for me, I'll just go here to Infinity Free. Of course, you can even use that to have access to a free uh, cPanel. If you want to, you can simply go and log into your account. If you have an account here at the top right corner, if you don't have an account, click on register and set. So for me, I'll just go here and log into my account. As you can see, this is going to be my account. So simply if I click on here, in here, I'll be able or I'll have access to my cPanel. Of course, now what you'll have to do, is simply go and open files on your computer. If you don't have it installed, you can download it for, uh, for free, of course, from the official FileZilla website. So go and open the new tab, type FileZilla, hit the enter button, and go to this first link, which is FileZilla, the free FTP solution. So you can download the FileZilla server on all platforms or the, cl the client, whatever suits you. For example, let's say we want to download the client here for Windows. If you want to download this for any other, uh, whatever you're using, just go and do so and simply just go and download it of course you can download FileZilla with manual pro pro uh, plus C -I -L -I, uh, cli whatever you want for me i'll just go and download the normal one and simply go and save it in here and as you can see once it's downloaded i'll just go sorry and click in here simply it will open nets here for me i'll just go and click on that yes and as you can see they uh, will have to start and slate installing it into my uh, PC. So we'll have to accept the privacy policy in terms of use. Make sure to read it out. I'll just go and accept that. Yes, anyone who will use whatever you want. So click on agree. And all new users in this computer are only for me, whatever suits you. So I'll just use this next. And you can give it a desktop icon also if you want to just check this option. Next, next, of course, uh, select the start menu folder, uh, which you would like, of course, to create the program shortcuts. And you can also enter a name to create a folder. So change the name however you want, or let's as it is, and even choose wherever you want to have it. Next, and as you can see, the installation will start. So you'll have to wait a bit until it's installed, and you will be good to go. Of course, after that, after like the install is finished, you will have to go and open your FileZilla. And once la once launched, you will see like a user-friendly interface ready for your FTP adventures. Of course, in the FileZilla like interface, you'll be able to, so it's uh, finished. So you'll have just to take the, this, check this option, which is start FileZilla now, click on finish, and it should be starting right now. Yeah, okay. So here's it. So as you can see, you have all your files and etc. So what you'll need to do once it's opened, of course, in the FileZilla uh, interface, you'll have to navigate to File. You'll find it at the top right corner in here, File option. Just go and click on that. Once you click on File, you'll have to select, of course, the Sites Manager. Simply click on it. Of course, you can even click Control, uh, control S, as you can see the shortcut in here. So click on Control S and it will open the File Manager or sorry, the Sites Manager. So once you do so, of course, here you can add, of course, a new site by clicking on new sites. As an example, go here and click on new site. And you can add a new site as an example. And once you click on new sites, you'll have to input your FTP details, including the host, which is your website domain or IP address, port, uh, usually uh, 21 for FTP, and choose the FTP file, of course, transfer protocol. So 
you will have to choose all of that in here in the protocol FTP or SFTP or uh, storage whatever you want of course you will have to choose the host the port the encryption uh, the logon type user and password and finally click on connect once you finish uh, fill in all those informations like within the sites manager of course you'll have to enter your ftp username and password and you can find this information in your c panel accounts and they're like the ftp section so go to control panel as an example look for uh, ftp okay so already have it i guess opened here yeah so go here as an example look for ftp and as you can see we have here ftp accounts and free ftp software so and the FTP, as you can see, you'll be able to find everything that you want, like the username, password, host name, and the port, everything that you need. Of course, it's fine for me if I showed you this because I like it just a random account that I created to show you this tutorial. So it's fine uh, that I'm showing you these credentials. And of course, from here, you'll be able to get everything. So just go and fill out those informations right here. And once you're done, of course, um, ensure that you, of course, selected like explicit uh, SCP over TLS available for like some secure connection. And then you'll have to go and click on connect in the site manager to establish a connection to your cPanel. And FileZilla will attempt to connect using the provided details. If successful, you will see a directory. As an example, you'll see a directory listed uh, for your cPanel account indicating a secure connection. And now that you're connected, of course, you can seamlessly upload and download files between, uh, of course, your computer and your cPanel, navigate through directories, drag and drop files, and manage your website's content effortlessly. And you can even use like FileZilla to organize and maintain your website files. You can create folders, rename files, and perform any necessary housekeeping tasks. Of course, FileZilla provides a user-friendly environment for efficient file management. And when you've like completed your file transfers, it's essential to disconnect from the cPanel and the FileZilla. Just simply go and click on server here at the top option. So click on server. And of course, make sure to click on disconnect. And then you will have to exit FileZilla, ensuring a secure end of your FTP session. Of course, you can use even Control D for as a shortcut to disconnect your connection from your cPanel. So make sure to do so. And yeah, now just exit this and you'll be good to go. So there you have it. You've successfully learned how to connect cPanel to FileZilla. Thanks for joining me today. And this connection will empower you to manage your website's files with ease. So if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe to our channel for more helpful stories like this one. And I'll see you in the next video.